What is going on fam? Thank you very much for tuning in here today. We're going to be discussing on how to deal with the difficult people that are in your life. Now, I know I've been away a little bit for about a couple of weeks, but it's all within good reason. For those of you who don't know or do know, I upload randomly per week, and I know there was about two weeks that I did not upload anything at all, and not even on any social media feed. But it's because, I'll be honest, I myself needed a break. I needed time to recover. I needed time to see where I wanted to drive the direction for Grey House Consulting and, of course, Christian Grey. But it also goes into the idea that my book is finally done. For those, of, for those of you who don't know, I created the book, Who the Fuck Am I? A Perfectly Imperfect Guide to Become Woke at Life, Discover Your Purpose, and Scale Your Potential. I know that is a mouthful, but it is one of my biggest prides and joys, and it's what I've been working on pretty much since like last September coming into this September. So consider it a year process. And that's also putting in the fact that this was done in June. Guys, the book is finally out. The Barnes & Noble version is pre-ordered to come out September 26, 26, 2019. The Amazon version is already out. I put both of them out just because people have their own preferences and memberships. Hey, no worries. But the ebook version is readily available right now today for $2.99. Um, but if you don't want to spend any money, just go down in the link of the description. There will be the first chapter preview with a video and a report for free. So I got that taken care of, guys. I really hope you check that out. It's I, I assure you, you will be able to get out of hypnosis. But nonetheless, let's go ahead and discuss about how to deal with the difficult people in your life. Now, there's a specific book that I have, and I got it about, probably about like 10 months ago, and it's Get Along with Difficult People by Florence Latour, Latour, I don't know, but Florence, if you are there, I, I really enjoy the book because it gives you examples of personalities. Now, for those of you who don't know much about people, some people do have personality disorders. Some people don't. Some people, it's just the way they are um, in terms of a personality. So it's not even the disorder. It's just their persona. So I want you to get it through your head that everybody functions, reacts, and responds differently. And that is their personality. The reason why I like this book is because you have like Bob Bossy, Gloria Gossip, Gilda Gill, to Larry Lazy, Sally Spirituals, and Joyce Judgings. So it goes into really big depth on kind of assessing the different personality types. Not so much disorders. This is this is not a clinical book. It's just to give you the bare bones of what to anticipate with the other person. Or, you know, even people, they're just unmotivated, entitled, lazy, depressive, uh, like Larry Lazy. That, that's pretty cool. But there's a lot that goes into this book. When it comes to dealing with the difficult people in your life, whether you want to consider it a creed or a mantra or just, I guess you could say, a motto to live by, you must first know yourself so you can understand others before you can help them. So if you were to repeat that to yourself, I must first know myself so I can understand others before I can help anyone. That is the creed, motto, mantra that you have to live by. Because before, again, and I've said it before and I'll say it again, what this book tells me is that motto, that creed. Before you can allow anyone else to be content with you as a person, with them being comfortable with your personality, because me, myself, I know I have my personality. I must first my, know myself because that is going to be the driving force to empathize, sympathize, and be compassionate with somebody else. And that's kind of one of the things that I talk in my book itself in the terms of, you know, your network is your net worth on how to relate to people. And it also goes into yourself by having a spiritual being that I need to be able to be selfishly selfless. Understand myself 
and why I'm living for somebody else. That That is what this book gets. But going from there, there are four questions you need to ask yourself when it comes to dealing with people. Not even difficult people, even easy people, medium people, difficult people, any kind of people, any one person. The question you need to ask yourself is, do I care enough to make an effort to get along with other people? Do you really care? Are you really, are you, are you really caring about the other person or are you just trying to make friends? There's a thing called um, histrionic personality disorder where everything's superficial. We could have met one time and the only reason is because I just want to feel liked. I just want to feel accepted. I, we're best friends and we've met for three seconds. It, it doesn't work that way. That's a personality disorder, but that's just a, a tipping point. Are you generally interested into the other person? The second thing that you need to find out is, am I willing to find out what the other person needs and give it to them? Ask yourself that. Because the first question is, do I care enough? The question is, will I seek out to help them with what it is that they want? Because if you feel like it's gonna be a burden, they're going to see straight through your face with your body language that, you know what, I just, I just don't want to deal with this. Like, I'm doing this as a formality. Don't do things as formalities. Do it with intention. The third thing, and this is where you can be selfishly selfless, can I maintain a relationship even if the other person doesn't respond? Is it really worth your time going through all the trouble, effort, money, stress, trying to get the other person to accept you and they don't respond? No, it's not. Whether whether it's your spouse, your wife, your dog, your cat, shit, your fucking goldfish, is it really worth your time and effort? Ask yourself that. Be Have a strong sense of self. And then the last thing is, again, going back to the first thing, knowing yourself. Does it really matter what someone else thinks of you? Because at the end of the day, your self-esteem is you are comfortable with yourself. You don't give a shit about what other people think about you. But you're doing it because you know that you're secure as a person, as a human being, as an individual, that whether it's Lazy Larry or Sally Spiritual or whether it's Gloria Gossip or Gilda Guilt, that it doesn't matter. You are so comfortable with yourself, not narcissistic, but you are secure with the fact that when presented, you have the option to help somebody because you genuinely would want to, not because you're so insecure that you feel like you need to or that you're better than them that you don't have to. So that that is one of the books. I do recommend this book to give you a little bit more about personality. Um, and it's really good because it doesn't go into much depth about the mental health side, but just more on just the general social skill side. I, I got to admit, it's like six, seven bucks. I'll post a link down in the description to check it out. But guys, if you haven't, please go ahead and sign up for the first chapter. I assure you, you will not regret it. Um, I put a lot of effort into this because I wanted people to discover their purpose. And it really goes back into your sense of self, your self-esteem, your self-love. Are you living through yourself or are you living through someone else and their recommendations? Those are the big questions. But nonetheless, guys, thank you very much for tuning in. Let me know what you think down in the comments section. You know, you can hit me up on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. I am now on LinkedIn at the Christian Gray, Christian Gray. I just built a Tumblr and I also have the blog up and running. Guys, if you haven't gotten your free membership access to Gray House Consulting, make sure you go ahead and check that out. You can also get that down in the link in the description. Until next time, guys, stay tuned. Take care.